Well, hello from Cambridge. Hello from the Cambridge Institute of Marketing Practice, and welcome to our SWAMP marketing program. SWAMP is, of course, an acronym. It stands for Start at the Exit, Weaponize Your Brand with a Slogan, Advertise the Brand Slogan Everywhere, Measure Your Brand's Cash Value, and Profit on the Ladder to Brand Loyalty. The SWAMP marketing program is all about brands, and it's also all about loyalty. So, let's get going. Let's start at the exit. Well, I know what you're thinking. Start at the end, start at the exit. It, this must guy is a complete nutcase. Who starts a project at the end? This deserves serious interrogation. Well, Swamp is all about making money. The Swamp marketing program is most definitely not a spending program. Swamp is all about making money, and it does it in four ways. Like any decent marketing program, Swamp works hard on brand sales and market share. A marketing program that doesn't boost sales and market share does not deserve your consideration. Of course, Swamp boosts sales and market share. But Swamp is much more than your run-of-the-mill marketing program. Swamp builds your profits. Swamp makes your brands more profitable. And Swamp does not stop there. Swamp does something really special for you, something you definitely won't get from a book, online, any course on marketing, or any consultant, however high the price tag. Swamp builds wealth. Swamp can make you rich, because Swamp builds the asset value of your brand. Swamp creates a cash hoard, a cash hoard locked in your brand, just waiting for you to exit to your next venture, that Caribbean beach, your luxury yacht, golf course, or maybe just to that cottage by the sea. A cash hoard awaits you at the exit. And some brand cash hoards are pretty sizable. Apple's $185 billion, Google's $142 billion, and Coke's $70 billion dollars. Okay, yours isn't worth billions yet, but something. How much? Probably not $142 billion. Not 70. Certainly not $185 billion. Well, well, not yet, but plenty. You almost certainly don't know how much today, and that's because accountants almost never measure brand value. They don't know how to. They don't want to, or probably both. International reporting standards, the accountant's rulebook, doesn't let them anyway. IRS 197 says you cannot amortize intangible assets, e.g. goodwill, if you created these assets. Your brand's banned from the balance sheet. So we all have to wait for the exit. Meanwhile, your brand cash value can be measured by Swamp, and it can, and it will be built by Swamp. Then it can be cashed in when you retire, sell on, or float, but it can only be cashed in at the exit, which is why Swamp starts right here at the exit. But of course you have to get to the exit and accumulate brand sales, profits, and cash value as you go. Your brand will not just amble down a flower-strewn path to the exit, effortlessly picking up goodies on the way. To fight its way to the exit, your brand has to be weaponized. To make a sale, you have to be chosen, in preference to competitors, and it's your brand which will steer the choice by being seen to be different. Your brand must be expected to be different or special, your brand must be discovered to be different and special, and your brand must be remembered as different and special. Now that doesn't just happen. Customers must be reminded. And the surest, the simplest, and not incidentally the cheapest way to do that is with a slogan. Let's understand our objectives here. It is to remind people we are different from competing brands. Look at me, says your brand. You will discover that I am different and special. See, I am different and special. Remember me from when you tried me. I was, I am, different and special. But your brand has no voice. You must speak for your brand with a slogan, a tagline, a claim, or a mantra. Well, hold on, you say. Slogans are not really my bag. Well, it can be done, and you don't have to be an expert. The steps are quite simple. First, ask your brand who are its competitors. Next, interrogate your brand and until it confesses to its strengths. What makes it different, special? Then, without fail, set your slogan objectives, and write those objectives down. If you don't, you will certainly fail. P&G calls this text a copy strategy, and I do too, out of habit, but it doesn't matter what you call it, as long as it runs roughly as follows. The objective of this slogan is to persuade customers, we we'll call them X, that my brand, Y, is different from competitors. Then all you have to do is write the slogan which sets you apart. If you Google great brand slogans, you'll find lots of great slogans. 
If you need help, get in touch by email. No fees, no commission. Or search YouTube for slogans, taglines, claims, mantras. Okay, you've got a slogan. But it's no good just having your slogan in a closet. People have to read it, see it, hear it, get it out there. Until now, our brand is still only talking to us. So it's time to bring it out of hiding, into the open. And that's what we're going to do from now on out. We're going to advertise the slogan. We're going to bring it to the attention of everyone we can, everywhere. And though we are not going to spend money, never forget Swamp is about making money, not spending money. Any fool can spend money. Making it takes a bit of thought. But this isn't rocket science. All we have to do is insert that slogan everywhere we are already or places we could be for free. Just insert your brand slogan on every package, on every invoice, in every letter, in every email. Insert it on every page of your website. Insert it on storefronts, on menus, on blackboards, catalogues and brochures. Insert it on price lists. Put it in every advertisement, in every conversation with every customer. And insert it into conversation with anyone whenever the brand is mentioned. On every sign of every sort. Scatter it across every social medium. On every tweet, blog, vlog, Facebook page. Insert it on YouTube. Instagram, LinkedIn, Nextdoor, Amazon. Insert it everywhere. And don't spend money. But do insert your brand slogan everywhere. Just doing that will set your brand apart. It will differentiate your brand in the eyes of customers and consumers. And it will do it everywhere. And that is going to get your brand chosen everywhere. So now we really are on our way to that exit. We are being seen to be different everywhere, which leads to repeated choice of our brand everywhere, which will in time build up that hoard of brand cash value at the exit. And now it's time to measure that value. It is actually quite simple. How much profit you make on each transaction, each sale, factoring in the number of loyal customers you have, and complete it with a loyalty factor. Essentially, an estimate of how many transactions you can expect from a loyal customer. Stir that together, and you get an expectation of future profits, and that is worth cash. Let's take a closer look at this gizmo. Let's go put the tool to work. As you can see, there's a lot of text to follow and an Excel spreadsheet. You could freeze frame the video and screen grab the slides, and that's fine. But if you'd like the text as a Word file and the Excel template, send us an email to swampbusinessplan at gmail, and we'll send you the files. Yours for free. No strings, no follow-up, unless you ask. The tool is based on a simple mathematical formula. Z times D times G equals brand cash value. Z is the profit per brand transaction, the variable profit on each unit of sale. D is the number of customers you judge loyal to your brand. And G is your expectation of future brand transactions per loyal customer, which gives us an expectation of future brand profits and that's your brand's cash value if you decided to sell it today. But something else emerges from this tool, something of paramount importance to every brand owner, the importance of loyalty. To generate cash value, you have to have brand loyalty. Only when you combine brand loyalty with profitability do you get the cash value you seek. If you want more cash value, you have to build more brand loyalty. There's no other way. Loyalty is the key to the vault. Well, let's not kid ourselves. That key is high up on the wall, almost out of reach. It's a long, long climb. We need a ladder to reach the top. But there is good news. It's worth the climb, even if you don't always arrive at the very top with every customer. There's profit as we climb. More profit on every rung as we coax customers up the ladder. And that's because loyalty builds profits on the way to cash value. More loyalty, more profits. Let's take a moment to remind ourselves what Swamp is all about. The Swamp Marketing Program is all about making money. Swamp makes money in four ways. It boosts brand sales and market share, of course, and usually it also increases brand profits. But what makes Swamp special is that only Swamp builds wealth. Swamp creates a cash hoard. Swamp just might make you rich. Swamp starts with its eyes fixed firmly on that brand cash hoard at the exit. Swamp weaponizes a brand with a slogan that sets it apart from its competitors. Swamp advertises that slogan every Everywhere, and Swamp measures a brand's cash value with a simple tool. Swamp puts loyalty center stage. Swamp shows us that it is loyalty that drives your brand's cash value. More loyalty means more cash value. So brand loyalty is the key. The key is, of course, way high up on the wall. But Swamp provides a ladder to loyalty, and there's good stuff on the climb. Because loyalty doesn't just drive cash value. Loyalty also drives higher pricing, encourages greater purchase frequency. Loyalty gets sales. And that mix drives profits. The closer to loyalty, 
the grace of the prophet. More profit on every rung of the loyalty ladder. Which brings us to the topic of this final video. What is this loyalty ladder and what is it for? Put simply, it maps the way from ignorance of a brand's existence to loyalty. None of us becomes a loyal customer overnight. From the time we hear of a brand for the first time to the moment we can describe ourselves as loyal is a lot of rungs, nine to be precise. Let's look at a real life example, how one ordinary dad climbed the rungs of the loyalty ladder with Vans shoes. Vans is a well-known and respected brand, but not to this dad until the daughter says she wants new shoes. And that's the starting point. Let's call it the floor. The potential customer has no brand awareness. She wants a pair of shoes. So when the daughter says, it has to be Vans or I leave home, I love them, best shoes on the planet, I become aware of the brand's existence. First rung on the ladder, brand awareness. But all dad knows is a brand name for some shoes. I do a bit of research. California skateboard shoes originally now made in India and China, usual stuff, so I climb onto the brand knowledge rung. I look at Vans advertising, ask other parents, they seem to be of good quality, stylish, cool, I'm developing a positive brand attitude. Okay, I'm convinced, I will buy them for my princess, who of course deserves the best, purchase intention, and in due course I take out a mortgage and buy our first Vans, a real purchase. They're good, deliver what they say on the tin, we're satisfied, we're on the satisfaction rung, we buy another pair, repeat purchase. They're good too, and so we develop into loyal customers of brand Vans. My wife now has several Vans golf shoes. The daughter loves Vans, wife loves Vans, I love Vans. We will undoubtedly buy them again. We are brand loyal. It's not a short journey from zero brand awareness to loyalty, but it is worth the climb. You don't have to coax a customer to the top to win. You win on the way. The higher you climb, the greater your profits, and the more sustainable, and the more your brand is worth. So how do you get there? How do you coax customers up the ladder? Well, it all starts with weaponization, with a slogan that differentiates. Let's follow the chain to cash value backwards. Brand cash value is derived from profitability, sustainable sales, and sustainable profits. They all flow from loyalty, and that, in turn, all comes from repeated choice of the brand in preference to competitors. But it all starts with weaponization, creating an expectation of something different and special. The brand journey begins with differentiation and ends with with profits and the cash hoard at the exit. That's it. So, to wrap Swamp up, start at the exit looking for brand cash value. Write a slogan that sets your brand apart from competitors. Advertise the brand slogan everywhere, using the slogan that differentiates your brand. Make sure your product delivers on its promise always. I can't help you there, that's up to you. Measure your brand's cash value, coax customers up the loyalty ladder, growing profits and cash value on every rung. It's all there in the program. Don't forget to keep in touch. Let's hear how you go on the Swamp Marketing Program. Have fun and take care.